Little Orphaned Annie by James Whitcomb Riley. Little Orphan Annie's come to our house to stay and wash the cups and saucers up and brush the crumbs away and shoo the chickens off the porch and dust the hearth and sweep and make the fire and bake the bread and earn her board and keep. And all us other children, when the supper things is done, we set around the kitchen fire and has the mostest fun a listening to the witch's tales at Annie tells about. And the goblins at gets you if you don't watch out once. There was a little boy wouldn't say his prayers. So when he went to bed at night, away upstairs, his mammy heard him holler and his daddy heard him bawl. And when they turned the kivers down, he wasn't there at all. And they seeked him in the rafter room and cubby hole and press and seeked him up the chimbley flue and everywheres, I guess. But all they ever found was tissed his pants and roundabout. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And one time a little girl would Alice laugh and grin and made fun of everyone and all her blood and kin. And once, when there was company, and old folks was there, she mocked them and shocked them and said she didn't care. And tissed as she kicked her heels and turned to run and hide, there was two great big black things a-standing by her side. And they snatched her through the ceiling, for she knowed what she's about. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And little orphan Annie says when the blaze is blue and the lampwick sputters and the wind goes woo and you hear the crickets quit and the moon is gray and the lightning bugs in dew is all squenched away, you better mind your parents and your teachers fond and dear and cherish them at loves you and dry the orphan's tear. And help the poor and needy ones at clusters all about. Ere yeah, the goblins will get you if you don't watch out.